Well, I think technology offers many exciting opportunities for political parties, representatives, political leaders to engage with uh, voters, uh, hear their concerns uh, more, and also for voters themselves to be engaged in decision making, uh, making their voices heard in the decision making process, um, and having all kinds of ways of interaction with their uh, elected representatives. Um, I think, however, that uh, technology offers some, presents some uh, dangers. Uh, the most important one that I, uh, I think is quite relevant is the tendency of technology and especially big uh, social media platforms to uh, reinforce uh, people's beliefs, make them only communicate and engage with people who share their own uh, beliefs. These are platforms that are meant to facilitate communication. These are platforms that are meant to open up open up people to new points of view and I think what we're seeing increasingly is that they do the opposite. They kind of keep people in silos where they only hear voices that they already trust and they already agree with. So I think one challenge for thinking about how technology can uh, enhance uh, democracy uh, moving forward is to actually engage with so those social media platforms and make them change a bit their model, make them pursue more actively to bring people of different beliefs and different backgrounds and different understandings together and have them engage more in good faith.